just you. <laughs> just at some point during every shoot. Got any uh, knife anecdotes? Got any garlic anecdotes? No, I've got well. I have got <laughs> all anecdotes. In this video, we're going to show you a recipe for a blackened chicken breast with a cucumber yogurt. Blackening is a kind of seasoning that originated in New Orleans and it's quite a new technique. And the best possible way to do it is in Rockbox and we're going to show you why. So let's get going. The first thing we're going to do is make our blackened seasoning. So blackened seasonings, you can buy them in the supermarket quite often. They'll be with the Cajun spices, things like that. They're made up of a mix of herbs, spices, always plenty of salt, always plenty of pepper. And what's going to happen is when we brush our chicken with softened butter, the milk solids in the butter are going to mix with this spice blend. And as they hit the heat, they're just going to start blackening and form this incredible crust on the outside. So we're going to start with three tablespoons of smoked paprika. We've then got one tablespoon of salt, got one tablespoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of garlic powder. We've then got two teaspoons of black pepper. We've got one teaspoon of cayenne and two teaspoons of herbs de Provence. And that's it, we're just gonna mix that together. You can just use your fingers for this, just kind of bring it all together. Cool, so we're gonna set that to one side, all mixed together. So for the chicken, we have got two free range chicken breasts. No bone, no skin, just simple breasts. These are always available in the supermarket, always there. We're just gonna flatten these. So just lay a sheet of cling film on your board, pop the chicken breasts onto there, and then just cover those with cling film. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit these with a mallet, rolling pin, your head. So when we flatten these, it's gonna kind of do two things. One, it's gonna give us that even thickness, so we cook them all in the same time. They'll be nice and evenly cooked. I can't remember what the other thing was. Speed of cook I was going to mention, but it's fine. And that's that, you don't want to be doing that too long. If we do that for ages, it's just going to make the meat really mushy when it cooks. Cool, so now these guys are nice even thickness, they're going to cook super quick in Rockbox. These are going to be five minutes. Five minutes, quick rest, and you're eating. So I've got 30 grams of softened butter here. And I'm just going to start brushing the chicken with this. So this is going to kind of mean that the blackened seasoning sticks to the chicken. And this seasoning, you know, we're doing chicken here, but you could do this with like a nice bit of grilled fish. Once we've brushed those, we're just going to sprinkle over the spice mix like that and it will give it a little pat but it will cling quite easily just because of all that butter that we've got on there little flip over if you do make this don't forget hashtag Cosme kitchen with your pictures and we will send you a prize we won't there's no prizes and now you can just kind of roll it and this is going to go in for a couple of minutes just to preheat full temperatures so that's 500 degrees 900 degrees fahrenheit full flame and the reason this is better in rockbox than any other bit of equipment you can find because we've got those two sources of heat if you imagine doing this in a pan normally only one side only one buttery spicy side is hitting the heat whereas this we've got heat sources at the bottom heat sources at the top boom perfect so our pan's nice and hot just going to add a little bit of oil and then we're going to go back in just to make sure that oil is piping hot before the chicken goes in cool so our pan is nice and smoking hot at smoking point, now we're going to get our chicken breasts in. And then the pan straight back into Rockbox. Okay, so after around two and a half minutes or so, that'll be ready for a little turn. So we're just going to get it out now. You can see that is looking seriously black. And we're just going to flip them over and then swap them round. So you need to remember we've got that heat difference between the front and back of Rockbox. So back in for about another two and a half, three minutes. In total, we'll be cooking this for about five minutes. We're then going to rest it for kind of three or four minutes while we make the yogurt, and then you're good to go. So while the chicken's cooking, although we've not cooked it in butter, we have gone with oil, you might still find you get the odd flame, the odd flare up that looks really cool, but slightly terrifying. But don't be too terrified, because it is normal. Okay, so that's been five minutes, and we have got some beautifully blackened chicken. Now that's just gonna have a little rest. I'm gonna rest that for about three, four minutes whilst we get on with the yogurt, okay? So this is kind of like a raita or a tzatziki. We've got about half a cucumber here, and we're gonna cut this into quarters. Once it's cut into quarters, we're going to remove the seeds, the inside, because it tends to dilute the yogurt a little bit and just make it not quite as tasty. You could marinate these in some soy and mirin, that sort of thing, and then char grill them in Rockbox, and they come out amazingly well. Cool, then we want to cut these quite small, so about four strips like that, and then cut them into little dice. Right, so we've got half a cucumber in there. Next up, I've got about a tablespoon of mint, fresh mint leaves. Just going to roughly chop those as well. So we want this kind of cucumber yogurt to have a little bit of mmm to it. So we're going to add a whole clove of garlic to this. So we're just going to grate that in. So a little bit of salt. You don't want too much salt because the chicken had quite a lot of salt in it, if you recall. A good bit of black pepper in there. 
and just give that a little mix up. Do make this while the chicken's resting as well. Don't make this kind of the night before or anything like that because it does tend to separate a little bit. All the water that comes out the cucumber is not as nice. It's much nicer, fresh. Okay, and then the chicken breasts nicely rested and you can see this crust that has formed on the outside, this lovely dark crust. And if we slice it and have a look inside, it'll be beautifully moist because we cooked it so fast. I love the contrast of kind of the white yogurt, the white chicken, and then this beautiful black bark on the outside. That is done in 10 minutes, quick, simple, easy, and it's surprisingly comforting as well. So great for this time of year, nice bit of comfort food, give it a go. Let that go everywhere. There you go, blackened chicken, cucumber yogurt. That's serious rain. I've got to take the dog out in this. Cool, so we've got half a cucumber in there. I'm not even going to talk to you, it's too loud. If I was to carry on talking, the next job I would do is chop some mint. And again, if you can just hear random noises in the background, it's not me, I promise. It's rain, rain coming from up there. I suppose down below. Suppose down below. The rain is calming down. It did sound like the day after tomorrow out there, but I think we're okay. Um, this might not ever get released if the world ends after this storm. Who knows?